West Coast Bell Pottery has been around for close to 30 years now. We formed in Kent in England in 1983. Lived in the States, Ohio first, and then moved to New York. Um, and we lived in New York for 17 years. Vaughn's really the potter. I mean, he's the one who, who who does the throwing and knows about the chemistry of glazing and the firing and everything. My role in the pottery is more like I work on the surfaces and I do um, the decorative tile pieces and the hand-built pieces. In New York, it was not the quiet potter at the wheel kind of lifestyle. And I started to get tired of it, and so we decided um, you know, to sort of look to see if there was something better. We came down here, I have a cousin who lives down the road. When I was first looking here, I stopped by Peter and Tom, who have the Maritime Salt Box in Petite, and they were incredibly helpful. He already had kind of this network set up, and he's like totally um, opened it up to us when we came here. It's a, a local community that really does buy original artwork and craft work. And now there's a whole network of these little artist studios where you can go and actually watch things being made. Pulling more artists in, I think we're already seeing that. You find all kinds of, of artists, you know, writers, singers, painters, and, and sculpture. Uh, you, you find people, it's unbelievable. What's unique about this studio is that they work with different fine artists as opposed to a lot of North American uh, stu glass studios where they have in-house artists. Artists of any media can come here and they don't have to have experience in glass, but they can come here as a painter or sculptor or any kind of artist and Norbert will work with them to create uh, a piece of glass art. The work itself is really beautiful and it advances the art of glass. The project uh, that we're currently working on is a two light window for uh, St. John's Lutheran in Mahone Bay. The glass has been already cut and now I'm in the process of painting the glass. The glass will be put together by the studio here. I think this is a really great place to live as a business and as a person, a social life. It's great for artists, they can live here and actually be creative. You're, you're really creating time for yourself to do things that maybe you wouldn't have done, say, where we were in New York, because there was pressure to pay bills more down there. We come down the driveway in the morning and we go, we live here! <laughs>